So I had a buyer who wanted to make an offer on a property in Fuquay. The problem was they hadn't actually been here yet. They were planning their trip in a few weeks. I wasn't real comfortable having them make an offer on a house in Fuquay, having never been to Fuquay before. And I decided to go ahead and do a video tour, giving them the good, bad, and ugly. There are some parts of Fuquay that are just a little bit gritty. I, I, gritty is the way I like to refer to it. I think that's a pretty good description. So basically the issue is that because you've got these two towns, Fuquay and Verena, that have grown into each other, the outskirts of town have kind of become like the center because they were the outskirts of both. And as they grew together, that's kind of what was right in the middle. <laughs> So you've got these areas that are very industrial that have lots of warehouses, you know, tobacco barns and things like um, this was a big tobacco area where people grow, grew tobacco. Um <laughs> And so you've got these big industrial type complexes right in the center of town. And so you're going to drive by these every day. And I've had people that come to Fuquay and they think they're going to buy a house there because they've seen everything online and it looks all great. But then um, they actually get here and they're like, they pull into town. They're like, what, what is this? Okay, this is not for me. But I usually tell people just, just keep driving. It's a little bit gritty and cruddy right there. But first of all, that stuff's going to go away eventually. And second of all, um, the rest of the town's really, really lovely. It's got some beautiful old homes in downtown. Uh, historic districts are just really cute and quaint. But it can be a, little, a bit much to get past these industrial areas. So we're gonna drive around the whole thing and I'm gonna tell you exactly what everything is and you'll get a pretty good tour of the town. I've never done a video like this before. If you like this format, I would love to do some more for you for other towns. Would you like me to do other towns? Drop it down in the comments if there's something else you wanna see. So we're just gonna do a big circle around the main parts of Fuquay. Now there are a lot more like pretty neighborhoods that we're not gonna go into, but I'm sure you all have seen pictures of that stuff and of the houses and stuff like that. So we're just mostly looking at the commercial areas. This is Highway 401. It's the road that you take coming down from Raleigh. So when you drive to Raleigh, from Raleigh to Fuquay or from Garner to Fuquay, you go down on 401. So you've got Fuquay Gun over here on the left. They used to be in downtown, but they moved over here to the north side of town in a fancier building. And you've got a lot of like chain restaurants and chain stores. You got a Kohl's over here on the left and you know, your Bojangles and there's a lot more chain restaurants as you go down. There are some like privately owned restaurants in Fuquay. It's not all chain stuff, but you definitely have a lot of chain um, fast food and chain restaurants. And honestly, this whole drag here, the main street, um, until you get into the historic downtown, this is all of your like big box sort of store. Not, not huge big box stores, but lots of chain stores, lots of strip malls. You got TJ Maxx, that used to be a Harris Teeter. They turned it into a TJ Maxx. Your Waffle House and Dairy Queen's always a hop in place. This is about seven o'clock at night. You can see the traffic, excuse our uh, windshield there. It's a little dirtier than it ought to be, but still pretty decent traffic at 7 p.m. It's definitely worse about an hour earlier at rush hour. There's Chipotle. You got an Aldi here in, in um, Fuquay right there. Over on your left coming up is First Citizens Bank. They are actually considering buying out the um, Silicon Valley Bank that just went under. So that's kind of interesting. And we're getting ready to come up to your Walmart complex, which is kind of all of these um, large, not terribly attractive stri uh, strip mall sort of areas. There's also a Home Depot, there's a Staples.
In some places, Walmart has a different color scheme, a more like neutral color scheme, but here in Fuquay, they still have the Walmart blue. And this is where we're getting ready to come up on some of those industrial areas that I was talking about. You've got lots of like, um, you know, just industrial businesses, warehouses, that sort of thing, cheap car dealers. Um, and then also some small little, little bit rundown cottages sort of thing. I get excited when I see those rundown cottages because I always wanna buy one and fix it up. And I'm sure with this incredible location, really close to the historic downtown, this, this real estate will eventually turn over and be really nice because it's all walkable. So once we pass this area, we'll be in the downtown Verena area. Wouldn't be surprising if this all eventually went away and became residential just because you can walk to so much from here, but I don't know. I have no idea what the plan is. Oh, and it is right on the train tracks that go right through town. So this is downtown Verena and Aviator Brewing is always a hop in place, especially on a Friday night. They put their little fire pits out. It's a great place to hang out and meet people and have dinner. Lots of cute little shops in here. You got a really cool little ice cream shop that like, um, it's like booze and ice cream or something, boozy ice cream, I don't know. You got a Mediterranean restaurant, some good pizza joints, um, lots of good little spots down here. It's a pretty small area though, because there's another downtown that we're gonna get to in just a minute. You've got these little, you know, pretty old little houses coming up here on the right. Again, this is all walkable to downtown Verena. Though I, I would buy those if, if they came on the market and turn them over and renovate them. And this little neighborhood right across the street, that's where I bought my very first home back in 2000, 23 years ago. And this over here is Action Park on the right. It's got some tennis courts and I think a playground over there too. more warehouses. I tried to fancy them up a little bit by putting some uh, murals on the side. So we're coming up to Fuquay here. Um, again, a little bit of grittiness here before you get into the downtown with your gas stations and such. I actually really like this downtown Fuquay. It's super pretty, lots of cool little shops. This building on the left is pretty new and there's a lot of new stuff that's gone up in here and some older stuff. You'll see a mix. That's a pretty cool furniture store there on the right. And then some empty stuff would be great for someone to take them over and renovate. Revelry is a men's barber shop that's actually pretty cool. 
If you go inside there, and there's a nice antique store here on the left. They've been around forever, Bostick and Wilson. Stick Boy Bread Company is a great, really popular bakery here on the left. And then you've got Anna's Pizza. It's got some of the best pizza in the area. Back before I went gluten-free, but it's really yummy. And they have the farmer's market every week in this parking lot over here. And then Mason Jar is a really popular locally owned restaurant. And up on the right is Fainting Goat Brewery. It's a great hangout. They have all kinds of like um, events and little concerts and things like that there. And now we're getting ready to come up on the historic area that used to be like the boarding houses for people that would come and visit the springs for vacation. Um, Fuquay Springs was a popular vacation spot like back around the turn of the century. And here we're going to pull into the residential historic area really pretty homes I love this area it's so pr I, I like just driving around here now again there's some older stuff and some newer stuff there's some you know not yet fixed up and some fixed up that's what's so cool about Fuquay is there's still opportunity you can still grab a, an older historic really cool looking home with a lot of character and remodel it and have something amazing that's walkable to downtown look there's one maybe they'll put it on the market We're gonna go by the art center and a couple really cool little um, coffee shop and a brewery that are really popular. Just a second here. So up on the right hand corner is the Fuquay Art Center. They have all kinds of events. They've got classes um, it, around the holidays. They do like pop-up markets there. It's a really cool little building. Lots of stuff happens. And that's Vicious Fishes, try and say that five times fast, and Cultivate Coffee. Those are two super popular spots that people just like to hang out. If you want your place to go or everybody knows your name, your little cheer spot, um, that those are your spots in Fuquay. Oh, there's also the mill over on the, the previous street that we went down. That's another really good coffee shop and brewery. So coming up on the left here is Fuquay Verena Middle School. If you live in Fuquay and you have a middle schooler, this is probably where they're going to go to school. It's the one middle school. And this is a really pretty part of Academy Street. Um, we'll come up here in a minute to um, some really large, beautiful homes that overlook a lake.
And we come up to Judd Parkway here and this brings us back to our circle. Um, we'll hang up left and this will bring us back to where we started basically. Got the post office up here on the left. It's, it's a nice post office, easy, easy in, easy out. If you like this video, you'll probably like this other one that I did about Fuquay with a lot more information.